Oh, afternoon, gentlemen. Afternoon. You know Frank Rothschild asked him to join us. Hope you've got something new. Legal affidavit and search warrant request covers Hansen's history, lists items we expect to find in his home, his work, his vehicles, including his plane, and the FBI's new profiling team. They say we're looking for a white male, early 40s, average height, respected member of the community, wife probably very religious and not totally aware of what he's up to, history of theft, sexual assault, probably stutters, also expert outdoorsman and avid hunter. That's Hanson. This is all secondhand information I need. Physical evidence. These guys aren't even proven yet. Hell, the FBI can't work out if they're for real. I have testimony from another victim who escaped in 79 and a witness who has seen Hanson's stolen trophy heads back in his den. We have Cindy Paulson, and everything I had last time still checks out. Who wrote this? Pat Dugan, assistant district attorney, Fairbanks. Flew down yesterday, worked through the night. You behind this, Bob? And the colonel. So you still want to search for insurance fraud, use the warrant to get him on murder. That washes out, gets thrown out of court. Then what? Everywhere we turn, it all leads back to Hanson. And I'm not going to tell you how to do your job. But if you don't start doing something, you'll be the one held responsible for these and any other girls who are killed. Now, if you excuse me, I should probably check on Miss Paulson. Sergeant, we'll look these over, get back to you in a few days. You know, he stalks them like his next trophy animal. He rapes them and he kills them. He is probably doing it right now. We don't have a few days. I want a warrant. Now.